Dillard's finally get their vengeance following Josh Duggar's sentencing for possession of child pornography. The Duggar family has had some major life chainings in just the last few days and after Josh Duggar was sentenced for possession of child pornography, many of his friends and family are speaking out about him. One of his sisters, Jill Dillard and her husband, Derek Dillard, have made it known that they are not happy with Josh's actions and they are not happy with the family members that have shown support for him. Now it looks as if they are finally grateful for his sentencing and of course took to social media to tell all of their fans what they were feeling Jill and Derek quit 19 kids and counting shortly after they were married. They wanted to focus on their life and family, but there were some underlying issues that Derek had with her famous parents. Jim Bob Duggar hadn't paid any of his children for being on the show and Derek is still trying to get the money that his wife is owed. The couple keeps their fans posted on their Instagram and YouTube accounts and it looks like this sentencing has gotten them all excited once again. On their family blog, they posted a video and told their fans, We are neither rejoicing nor disappointed by the sentence, but we are thankful it's finally over. Yesterday we learned that Josh was given a 151-month sentence in federal prison for his crime of child sex abuse material. The last several weeks and months have been difficult emotionally. Yesterday was another one of those hard days. They went on the Bible clearly states that God affects justice and vengeance through the governing authorities. Though some believe Josh should have received a greater sentence and still fewer Belkeith, he should have received a lighter center. God has carried out his veggings today for his unspeakable criminal activity. Until now, he has yet to be held accountable to the extent necessary to cause change in his dangerous pattern of behavior. It is unfortunate, but it seems that it may take spending over a decade in federal prison, and still more on probation, for Josh to have any potential for rehabilitation to the point he can safely live in society again. They finished by adding, Josh can actually begin to get treatment and begin to work toward a lifestyle where he is less likely to reoffend. If for nothing else, the notoriety of this case has hopefully contributed to the deterrence of potential offenders and will help protect children by decreasing the demand for CSAM. We continue to love Josh and his family and will be there for them however we can.